Hey, what's up Chemical Guys family and welcome back to a brand new episode of Chemical Guys Detail Garage. Today we're going to be covering how to make it last tire shine edition. So I want to address some points that you guys have in our comment section and our DMs about how to make the best out of your tire shine in terms of how to make it shine as longest and last as longest. So today that's what we're going to be covering. Let's get started. So like I mentioned, you guys have a lot of questions about how to make the best use out of your tire shine and it's a completely valid question because I know that whenever I first started detailing and I would apply tire shine, some of the things that I would run into, which you guys may have run into, is things like tire sling or maybe you apply a dressing and you see it kind of just like slinging all off and it just kind of leaks all over the place. Or maybe you just don't apply it properly onto a clean and prep surface and it just you know doesn't very last very long. So today I wanted to address that for you guys and just really show you guys a quick and simple method on how to really make your tire shine last. So we're gonna start off this process with cleaning the wheels. Now, as you guys can see, the tires, they're super dirty, they're super brown. If you guys see a close up look, the tires are very brown. They have a lot of oxidation and tire blooming going on. So that's what we're gonna be tackling today in order to achieve the longest lasting shine. But before we do that, I wanna clean the wheels, just kind of get those out of the way. So we're gonna grab our Torx Snubby, which is connected to our ProFlow PM2000 electric fresh washer, and we're gonna pre-rinse the wheels. All right guys, now for the sake of this video, I don't really want to go too much into the wheel cleaning because we do a ton of videos on wheels. So I'm just going to speed right through this. We're going to be using Sticky Citrus Wheel Cleaner Gel, which is a citrus-based wheel cleaner. That's also a gel-based wheel cleaner that clings onto the surface of your wheels for maximum cleaning power. So we're going to spray some of that directly onto the wheels. We're going to spray some directly into our bucket as well. And then we're going to activate the suds since it is a gel-based product, it will foam up. Check it out, we got our nice cleaning suds going on and then we're just gonna start cleaning the wheel. So let me just start cleaning the wheel, starting off with our Red Rocket wheel brush to get into the barrel of the wheel. Then after cleaning the barrel with our Red Rocket wheel brush, now I'm gonna grab my wheelie flag tip brush and clean the face of the wheel. Now that I'm done cleaning the face of the wheel, now I'm just gonna grab my boar's hair detailing brush, which is this little thin brush right here. That way I can get into all the nooks and crannies like the lug nuts, the brake caliper, and the valve stem as well. All right guys, and now that the wheels are cleaned and out of the way, now we can begin with the star of the show, which is this little buddy right here. This is our Total Extract Tire and Rubber Cleaner. Now this product is specifically designed to remove dirt, grime, previous dressings and tire oxidation from your tires to restore a nice original look and finish. Now the reason that we use this product in the first place is obviously to remove everything that's on the tires. So if you think about it, you know, if you're ever gonna paint a car or if you're ever gonna apply kind of protectant, you always wanna make sure that the surface is prepped and that goes exactly the same for tires and trim. So this product is gonna do especially well on the tires. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna start off by spraying a nice fine coat onto the tires itself. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab 
our big blue stiffy brush, which as you guys can see is a hard bristle brush. This thing is extremely hard, which is gonna work out great for scrubbing away all the dirt and contaminants that are embedded on the surface of the tire. And I'm just gonna spray a little bit more of that cleaner on there and move my bucket out of the way. That way you guys have a better visual of what this looks like. But basically all you wanna do is start scrubbing the surface of your tire. And you may notice that as you're scrubbing, you're gonna start seeing this brown foam. So when you see that brown foam, that's exactly when you know that it's doing its job. It's breaking down all the dirt, all the grime in preparation for you applying your tire dressing. Right, guys and then once you're done scrubbing the tire all I want to do now is simply rinse it off so I'm just going to rinse off my brush before I put it back to my bucket and then I'm going to rinse off the tire to remove all the dirt and grime that we've extracted And then once you've rinsed it off, I highly encourage that whenever you're done rinsing it off, take off your glove if you're wearing some. If not, don't worry about it. Take off your glove and then feel the tire. And then if you realize that there's still dirt and grime coming off onto your hands after you wipe it, then just go back and just give it another scrub and then rinse it off again. You know, you can repeat this process as often as necessary because as you can imagine, if you've never done this onto your tires before, there probably is a high chance you're gonna have a heavy buildup of dirt and grime on there. So, you know, don't be, shocked if there's still some dirt and grime on there just go ahead and give it another pass with some tire rubber cleaner and your big blue sticky brush and you'll be on your way so right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to dry this properly because whenever you apply dressing you want to make sure that you apply it onto a clean prep and dry surface so what i mean by that is whenever you apply your tire dressing you never want to apply it onto a wet surface because that water that moisture is not going to allow the dressing to bond properly so it's going to almost kind of deter it from sticking and embedding itself into the finish of your tire. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and dry it up with a combination of our Pro Blow high speed blower and some my fiber towels. So let me go ahead and do that right now and then I'll be right back with you guys. All right guys, so now that the wheels and tires are fully dry, now we can apply our tire shine. So today's choice is actually our Tire Kicker Tire Shine, which is an incredible water-based dressing that's perfect for use on interior and exterior vinyl, rubber, and plastic trim. I know it says Tire Kicker, you see a big tire right here on the label, but don't let that fool you. You can actually use it on interior surfaces as well, like your dashboards, door panels as well. So it works out great on both occasions for interior and exterior purposes. And not only does it restore, but it also shines and it protects all in one step. And it's extremely easy to use. All you have to do is simply spray some. You can use a foam or a microfiber applicator. Me personally, I love microfiber. It's just my thing. So I'm gonna spray about four sprays on here. And then I'm gonna set that down. And then I'm just gonna start simply applying it to my tire right here. And as you guys can see, when it comes to tire shine, less is more. So I know some of us get lost in the shine we apply a heavy coat of dressing, and then you're left with a bunch of excess. In this case, we wanna apply our product and apply it very finely. That way we make the best use out of it. That way we're not wasting anything and nothing goes to waste. So we're just gonna apply it and we're gonna spray more onto our applicator as needed. So in this case, it's looking pretty good. I might need to spray a little bit more just to make sure we cover all the grooves right here. But I just wanna make sure that we get a nice, just all around first coat before I go in with an additional coat.
So now that we have the face of the tire nice and coated, to, in order to get into these little ridges right here, what I like doing personally is I like to spray some onto the edge of the applicator like this. And that's just gonna allow me to really just push the microfiber strands in there and really get that stuff coated. All right, guys, and now that I'm done applying my coat of Tire Kicker Tire Shine, this is, I would say, probably the most crucial step when it comes to applying tire shine, which is accepting the fact that you may have gone overboard with some product. Now, it's not to say that you did or you didn't, but just to be on the safe side, what I always recommend doing is just quickly, just with the dry microfiber, give it a quick little wipe down. Just give it a quick little wipe down, and this will ensure that you pick up any kind of light uh, excess product that may be sitting on the surface. You don't have to go crazy. It's just a quick little gentle wipe down. Now, one thing I do want to say about this is that if you prefer the high shine, give it a quick wipe down and then you can just recoat it with whatever remnants you have in your applicator. If you want to tone down the shine of your dressing, you can do this at any time just to kind of tone down the shine and just give it a more natural look and feel. So as you guys can see, the tire is completely done. I'll move the stuff out of the way so that you guys can see that full before and after of what that brown, dirty, neglected tire looked like and what it looks like now, now that it's deep cleaned with our Total Extract Tire and Rubber Cleaner and coated with our Tire Kicker Tire Shine. So it's the most incredible combo for your tires. As you guys can see, nice, fresh, brand new look, high gloss shine. It's protected against those harsh UV rays from drying, cracking, and fading. And last but not least, it's going to last as opposed to just, you know, washing your car, rinsing it off and just applying your favorite chemical gas tire shine on there. Now it's actually going to last you a couple of weeks, you know, depending on how you maintain it uh, or the product that you use. Now this right here is a water based, so this will provide protection for a couple of weeks. Now, if you do go with something more of like an oil based dressing or even like a ceramic dressing like Hydro Shield, you can expect even longer lasting results. So it all depends on what you use. But for the sake of this video, we're content with what we have right here. And I'm extremely happy to present this to you guys and you know, just give you guys a nice before and after full image. So that's gonna wrap it up for this video, you guys. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to give us a huge like, subscribe if you haven't done so already. And if you guys like the idea for this series, let us know in the comment section below what you guys wanna see on the next Make It Last series. If you guys wanna pick up any of the products that you guys see on today's video, you can pick them up directly on our website by checking out the description or the pinned comment down below. Or you can also visit your local detail garage store and pick it up in person. So there will also be a store locator in the description for you guys to check out. As always, my name is Joey. This is Chemical Guys Detail Garage. We'll see you guys on the next one.